a folk. Couple of let cords in favor of SoCal. A lot of length on that side of the court. I like this from the Frisco Pandas. They're going to look like real, be less dangerous as a setup man from the baseline. Found it on the backhand of CJ Klinger that vote. Nick again finds the corner on Klinger's backhand. You want Fote to be steady, but at the same time, walking away with maybe two or three offensive points would be a big difference maker. So far, he's won a couple of those one-on-ones with Nick. Yeah. Oh, comes up with another. Right now going tit for tat on the hands battles. Hand speed is on point for both these teams. CJ Klinger coming to life on the Ernie. Took full advantage of that short return. Jesus, was that Jason Bourne? Look at that footwork. <laughs> CJ Klinger off the edge. Just back for Mick and the Silk. Player had it lined up. DeHart will steal one. Yeah, it's a nice changeup. We haven't really seen that speed up. Back cross court finds the backhand side of CJ Klinger. Missed contact there. Yeah. On display. Yeah. Wow, CJ Klinger responding right down the line. This possible. there for the taking. I feel like Mick thought he had it. Yeah. And the patient point, the SoCal Hard Eights, three points away. Not an easy task. Todd Fote right now is dropping up the line. That's the shorter distance. It means less room for error. both sides, picked his target. But you can see Andre Mick is just fighting for his life out there. <laughs> and the reason being, CJ Klinger just changed the location. It went from being on that right shoulder over to the left shoulder. You have to be able to have all the tools in your tool belt from the offensive standpoint. Yeah. I think that ball was going out of bounds. <laughs> Extension for CJ Klinger, man. Well protected. CJ 
Jay Klinger lined up, put his entire body behind that one. Long for Folk. The Pandas still alive, climbing back in, down three. Yeah, I think if the Pandas want a chance here in this game, they're going to need Ryler to Hart to find a little bit of offense on that right side. Long for DeHart. So game point number three for the Hart Eights. DeHart gets it back. C.J. Klinger steps in and closes out game one, 21-18. And a good timeout called at the end of this one. Yeah, and I love it. The third shot drop, just trusting Todd Fote. Again, they went right.